Hello and welcome to how to design a paperclip hinge. In this video we're going to talk about how to utilize that with this model train car as you can see here. There's three components, one being the orange doors, the teal body, and then of course the straight portion of a paperclip. So let's take a look at a section view to see how the door operates and go from there. So here is the doors and you can see that they can operate with no interference at all. And this is why an assembly is so important so you can say, see that. And I made sure to have at least about a 15 to 20 thou gap between the two doors. And then another thing you may have to do is a radius on the back portion if it, there's potential of it interfering. So this is why having an assembly is so crucial when it comes to designing a hinge like this. Let's take a look at the body and go from there. So here you can see the train car itself. It's going to be comprised of several components that are going to allow for the door to fit and the paper clip. So essentially I measured the paper clip to be 0 0.05 inches, 50 thou, or 1.27 millimeters. And that's the exact same size I made the diameter of both the top and the bottom holes, as you can see here. And that is essentially to make it have a tighter fit so that it will fit appropriately um, when you're putting it into place. And the reason why you want it size on size is there's less chance of it coming out. The other aspect is the thickness on the bottom here. So I chose to do 20 thou or 0.5 millimeters. That was just an arbitrary number I used. It worked perfectly for this model. Um, you could use more or less, but you want to have some material there so that the door can sit on something. Otherwise the hinge is moot point. The other aspect is I actually made this 0.094 inches or 2.38 millimeters and that is essentially to give me enough material for the paper clip to go in deep enough so that it has somewhere to hinge upon and won't fall out when the hinge is being opened and closed. One thing I would note with how thin I made the bottom portion I would I actually did a little bit of glue on the bottom just to hold it in place so that it doesn't pop out. It also depends if you're gluing this to something else of course. So the other aspect would be the height of the opening here is 0.543 inches or 13.78 millimeters and we'll compare that to the door design uh, right away here. So let's take a look at the door and go from there. So here you can see the door itself and essentially it's going to be a couple components that allow it to have a better fit. The first you'll see is 60 thou or 1.524 millimeter diameter so it's about 10 thou bigger than the pin and that just allows it to make it easier to open and close when it comes to having it all assembled. The other thing is, is that this is a height of 0.53 inches instead of the 0.54 and that just again allows for you to fit this piece in so it's only 10 thou smaller and the reason I made it just 10 thou smaller is that if I made it any smaller it might actually let the door open and close without any resistance and this just has enough tightness so that it'll stay closed when I want it to stay closed and then I can pull the door open myself when I want it to open. So that's essentially how the door was designed. Very simple and the only other aspect that I looked at is when I did assemble it I made sure to move this pin back and forth and this was just trial and error to make sure that when the door opens and closes it doesn't interfere with the train car. So you can see here it's a pretty big gap. I probably could have tightened that up a little bit more but this worked out good for me and I believe it's about 30 thou. That's not gonna let me. Uh, 15 thou per side of a gap on both. So I could have made, maybe even made that tighter by about 10 thou or something like that. So again it's all trial and error but essentially that's how I designed this hinge using a paper clip. And then the last thing is, is when I assembled this, I put the door inside, I pushed the pin up all the way through into the, the train car itself. And then after that, I just dapped a little bit of glue on the bottom of it so that the pin wouldn't fall out and then it was assembled. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, this is Tyler with 3D Printer Store and I hope you have a great day.